Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back. My name is James, and I am your host. And today is the day where we're going to try some things, like that car there. So what we're going to do is take off, because it has a misfire, I was thinking of possibly replacing the throttle body because that was a big issue for the blue car that we had, which was a Focus. And the other one is the um, purge valve. Uh, I'm going to try and do that one because it's a lot cheaper. Um, otherwise, it's going to cost like 200 bucks just to get a new throttle body, which honestly, that's what we paid to do the blue car. So is what it is, I guess. Uh, let's see here. What else? We're going to hook up the truck here to the trailer, and then we're going to go and toss all the garbage for the house on the back, take it up, and get rid of it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. At least the food. Now, I did, however, put a quick release on for the uh, battery. We're looking at this piece right here. It's literally right there. So easy to get to. And what I want to know is whether or not it is working properly or not. Which I can check for continuity and uh, in it possibly, or more or less I'll just get a 12 volt uh, connection and um, see if it clicks on and off. Because that solenoid in there should pop on and off when I'm doing it. Um, well, it'll if I put it on, it should stay open because it's got constant power, but if I, you know, let go of the ground and put it back on, it should, you should hear it click. But uh, I'm thinking that that could possibly be bad because the other one in the blue, blue car was bad. It was constantly open, so you could actually blow through it. And if there's no power, if there's no power, then there shouldn't be any type of, um, of fluid or vapors or anything like that. Of course, it wouldn't be fluid, but any type of vapors actually would be going through that. So the whole point is to just take it off real quick and see what's going on. I'm sorry for all the really 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 bright light so i don't know if you can see so let's go ahead and get you set up and we will go ahead and do that real quick shouldn't take very long otherwise it is a 60 dollar part so it's not too bad so this is broke right here this one i'm gonna see how much it costs to get this one replaced i don't think that that's the reason why the misfire is going on but i do think that this one definitely is uh, I don't think I replaced this one. Maybe I should replace them both. I don't know. But at least we should look into this one here. So. Not sure how this one slides out. Do, 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 do. Ta da. Let's see here. Got that nice and off. There we go. Now this should just pump right out the back, right? Yeah, here we go. Maybe I can get it a lot easier now. Oh, yeah, much better. Much, much, much better. Okay. Or, give me this piece. Take it off that way. Sometimes a nice, uh, a nice flathead is all you need. Okay, nice and loose now. Broke the seal, this should come right off. So, this is what we have right here. 
Don't look at me. There we go. This is what we have here. This part is very tiny and it's $65. So, nothing's loose. And as I said before, this should be uh, closed. And the only time it should be open is if there's power to it to allow the vapor through or to keep it in. So, not power, but if there's no power to it, it should keep the vapors where they need to be. So, if I blow on this, then this is bad. <laughs> if, there, if there's air going through it completely, then this is bad. We have to replace it. So, I'm kind of hoping that it is because I've been fighting this misfire for a while. And I'm down to the point where it's like, okay, could be the throttle because of the issue that we have with the blue car. And it could be this because this is what was wrong with the blue car too. Um, or it is the uh, fuel injection for, or the injectors. So I, I just don't know. And I don't really want to put $500 into that right now. So yeah, here we go. Ready? One, two. Jeez. <laughs> fuel or vapor actually okay so it's not letting anything in let's see if it's stuck closed so for that we're going to see if we can hear a nice click from the uh, from these here so let me go and get some wire to put on the positive and negative terminals and then we'll Get you set up and see what's going on with this. What's that thing for? I was making a video. about our trials and tribulations with this car. So this way it can help somebody else out maybe down the road, like we always go to for YouTube anyway. Who knows, maybe it'll be it. Okay. Okay, that should have power now. Okay, so we got... Huh? You heard it click, right? Yeah. Okay, so the question is, is... Now that it clicks, does that mean it's good or bad? Does it let anything through? Sure not. Go ahead yeah. and hold that. Hold that on the thing again. I'm gonna try and get my face down there so I can try and blow through it. Try to, but we'll see. All right, if you can just stay right like that. That. It's working. It's working. It's letting air in and the way it should be. Well, at least we know that that is Good. not a bad part. Still could also be uh, a fuel injector thing, you know? That pump was replaced. The one in the in the in the 
tank is fine. It works. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sound. So, yeah, I don't know.